refresh the page so now we see something like you have clicked on home page so I have introduced something new in here like this concatenator concatenation operator along with the usage of this variable inside this echo statement so you don't need to uh, worry about this let me just explain it briefly it's really simple so um, you can actually use the concatenation operator now the concatenation operator works something like the addition so if you want to include or if you want to add two strings together then you use the concatenation operator like that's for uh, just for the example let me write first name and let me write my first name then let me write my last name so now suppose you have got two names uh, separately from your user now you want to add those two separate names and you want to store that added that entire name inside a single variable so let's actually create a variable called full name then what we're going to do in here is that we're going to retrieve the value from the first name variable then again we're going to retrieve the value from the last name variable now what we're going to do is just add the add a dot or a full stop in english but in 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 php's context it's called the concatenation operator it's simply like uh, adding a plus so we can't add a plus because in PHP a plus will actually work on numbers or numeric values. But if you're trying to um, add two strings together, then you need to use a dot or a full stop like this. So now let's echo out this full name. And let's save this. Let's get back to the browser. Let's bring it, uh, let's refresh the page. So you see, it's actually printing out my name. So uh, it's not very pretty because I've not included any spaces in between the names or in between the um, words. So you can just include additional spaces using this uh, concatenation operator. So what I have done in here, first I have retrieved the value or the uh, string from the a first name variable then I have added this concatenation operator then I have added a space then again I have added the retrieved value from the last name variable to this entire string and this entire ad concatenated value will be stored inside this new variable called full name now let's save this Let's get back to the browser and let's refresh this. Now see, you can see that I have included or I've got something of a white space in between my two names. So that's how this concatenation operator works. Now I have shown you how to use this concatenation operator with two variables. You can also use this in between a variable and directly using this string. So you can just ignore this part like let me command that out and let me use something like this uh, let me erase this off so this thing is also valid so let me just refresh the browser so that you can use the res uh, see the result so you see there is no change because the compiler is actually compiling or reading the code in a same in the, in a same way so you can use variables, two variables. You can uh, concatenate them using this concatenation operator. You can even concatenate a string along with a variable. So you can do both of them. So I've, in, I've used that uh, concept of using the string along with the uh, variable's value and I've concatenated them directly and I have echoed out their value onto the browser. Now let's get back to the switch case statement. Now the switch case statement has something 
um, has something like if I if I want to actually replicate this or if I want to write this in if statements then I need to do something like pages I need to call in the value from the variable then I need to use the equals to operator this is the equivalent or equals to operator in uh, PHP then I need to type in home page then I need to echo out the uh, message that I'm going to show to the user. So let's understand this part. So the first thing that we're doing in here is we're retrieving the value as usual from the variable. Then the compiler is entering this block, this en entire block, because it looks at this uh, opening curly brace then it finds a case expression so uh, so the, the it takes the retrieved value from the pages variable which is this value and then it's going to match with each of these cases so because there is a case in the first part it's going to match with this value and it's going to check whether that value is equivalent or equals to this uh, expression if it is equal then it's going to uh, echo at this message so there is no need to go to the rest of the switch statement if the first case expression is true then if the first case expression is not true suppose I change the value like this about us page if I change this value now it has a new value uh, stored inside this pages variable then again it's going to check it's going to enter this switch block then it's going to check with the first case statement along uh, uh, the first case statement and it's going to look into the expression so it's going to uh, evaluate the value retrieved from the pages variable along with the value uh, along with the expression in the case statement so the first case statement is false so it's going to uh, it's not going to en enter this part then again it's going to move on to the second case statement so when it moves on to the second case statement it sees that the expression actually matches with the value that is stored inside this variable so it enters this case statement and then it echoes out the message then it breaks out of this entire switch statement because there is no need to look at the default part we don't need to we don't want the user to see a message uh, like you don't need you, you need to click a, you don't you need to click on a page we don't want the user to see this message so that's why the there is a requirement for this break statement but if there's something like this if the user um, if, if I have a value that is like contact contact us so there is no expression that will get uh, that is equals to that value.